What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video I'm going to be giving you my top 5 smartphone cameras of 2015. Now if you're regular on the channel you'll know that I test here a lot of smartphone cameras throughout the year and do some of the most popular camera comparisons on YouTube. So I've got a pretty good idea of the differences in quality between all of these. So in this list I've compiled my top 5 favorites now these aren't in any particular order because a lot of the differences will come down to your personal preference and you can look at all of the examples that i'll be showing on screen to better help you make the decision of which one you like best but i will be giving you my personal favorite towards the end of this video so let's get straight to it and first up is a bit of a surprise on this list and that is the google nexus 6p and the nexus 5x has the same camera sensor minus the electronic image stabilization and the 240 frames a second 720p slow motion by the way side notes if you're interested in any of these skins that you see on the devices in this video then those are from slick wraps and it's a great way to customize your smartphone i'll be leaving a link to them in the description below they've actually got some huge black friday sales coming up as well so definitely go ahead and check them out if you're interested now with the nexus devices generally speaking every year they have been okay but uh, nothing exceptional and nothing really that competes on uh, the high level but this year it has changed we've got a 12.3 megapixel camera on the nexus 6p and it takes some great shots in pretty much all situations and it's also very very good in low light in particular with the hdr plus mode selected it gives you some uh, very good results in low light and completely blows the competition out of the way in my tests now one thing that is a bit of a downside is even with the electronic image stabilization it's not very steady for video and I would have liked optical image stabilization but for the price that you're paying which is quite a bit lower than some of the other flagships it is definitely a, a great smartphone camera now next up we have the LG G4 so LG are kind of known for making some good quality cameras in the past years but this year they really did up their game we've got a 16 megapixel sensor with an f 1.8 aperture which is the widest aperture that we've got uh, pretty much on any smartphone right now and uh, this gives you some very nice shallow depth of field which is something that i really really like and you've also got infrared autofocus so you do get some uh, very nice and sharp focusing on the lg g4 now one of the things that the lg g4 introduced this year was advanced manual control so one of the first flagships that introduced advanced manual controls now what i mean is you can save to raw for example and then edit your images later and you can also control the shutter speed so you can get some very interesting results especially if you mount the lg g4 on a tripod so you can get light streaks and things so a very very nice option now the lg v10 has been released recently that has a similar camera but with some more enhanced features i've not been able to test that out as yet because it's not readily available in the uk next on the list is something that might be a little bit obvious and it does make it into some of the best camera smartphones of every year and that's the iPhone so you've got the iPhone 6s as well as the 6s plus the 6s plus does have optical image stabilization which definitely does help uh, but even the 6s has some great quality images 12 megapixels so this is the first time in many years that Apple increased the resolution we had 8 megapixels for many years now we've got 12 megapixels so you've got a nice amount of resolution very natural colors which I really really like here on the iPhone 6s and 6s plus and you've also got very nice dynamic range straight off the camera I do really really like this and the 4k video is one of my favorites and that's because firstly you don't have a limit like with some of the others so you can record for pretty much as long as you want and it won't heat up the device from my test that I did and you get some exceptional quality results and I'll be linking some videos that I filmed on the iPhone 6s and 6s plus entirely in the description below and do go ahead and check those out if you want to see the video quality of the iPhone 6s and 6s plus next up is the Sony Xperia Z5 now this has the same camera that is on the Xperia Z5 Premium as well as the Compact so it's the same here it's got 23 megapixels so that's the highest megapixel count that we've got on this list gives you plenty of detail now DxO Mark actually ranked this the highest in terms of their test I wouldn't agree with that I think it is one of the best not the best uh, smartphone camera of 2015 and it does produce some great results you've got a very wide angle lens which lets you get in a lot of your scenes so especially for landscapes i would definitely recommend using the xperia z5 and because of that insane 23 megapixel resolution you are going to be able to crop in that much further it's definitely a nice touch you've got steady shot which stabilizes your video at 1080p and make sure you do switch this on by the way because 
mine wasn't switched on by default and it gives you some super smooth footage even though it doesn't have optical image stabilization so a very impressive camera here from Sony this year now last up on the list uh, is my favorite which you guys have probably figured already if you follow me on social media Instagram and things because I do post a lot of images from this device and that is the Samsung Galaxy S6 now the S6 has the same camera as the S6 Edge as well as the S6 Edge Plus and the Note 5 so I'm collectively talking about the Galaxy cameras that we've had this year because they are all the same other than maybe some minor software differences but the results that you're going to be getting from all of these cameras are going to be very very similar and they're absolutely great you've got some very consistent results and there may be a little bit of over sharpening going on in some pictures and uh, the pictures are also a little bit more on the saturated side but some people actually do like that and what's great though is that you can get those images and start sharing them straight away you don't really need to make any edits or add any filters they will pop and look really really nice straight off the camera and that's something that I really really like about the Samsung Galaxy S6 and one thing that I have to mention as well is the macro is absolutely amazing the detail that you get on macro shots it lets you focus in very very close as you can see from the examples here on many other smartphones I did struggle to focus at this sort of distance so this is definitely an advantage that you do get with the Samsung Galaxy S6 and one of the things that I really really like about the S6 is the double tap on the home button which launches the camera in 0.6 seconds and it is the quickest launch that I've tested from all of the other smartphones that I've been speed test with as well and it does a, a very very quick launch which lets you get that shot and not miss those perfect opportunities so that's something that I definitely do like as well so those were my top five smartphone cameras of 2015 what do you think of this list do you agree with it which one is your personal favorite do drop that in the comment section below I'm super looking forward to 2016 because the cameras are only going to be getting better and they are already pretty awesome and I'm carrying around my DSLR lot less and less because I just carry around my smartphones and they do a, a very a very good job overall i hope you enjoyed this video and finally so if you did then please do hit that thumbs up button for me it really does help me out and if you haven't already then be sure to subscribe i've got plenty of camera comparisons coming up with future smartphones and more videos like this we'll do another video like this in a few months time to see what the top five are then you can also see my previous related video here in the annotations and stay in touch with me over social media i do post lots of images on instagram i'm at super Saf tv so make sure you do go ahead and follow me on there thanks for watching this is Saf on super Saf tv i'll see you next time